Okay, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be replacing a bow handle here on the 76 Sunfish. This is the first time I've ever done this. Backer block is pretty much rotted out, decomposed. So I need to get in there to put another backer block in of some sort. So I'm going to install an inspection port. Picked up a four inch inspection for, uh, port, pretty cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Bow handle was 15 bucks on Amazon. You know, at the time of this video, uh, put down some painter's tape and kind of outline where exactly I wanted my inspection port. Um, I read a number of different things, you know, discussion board wise, because I've never done this repair before. And of course, you want to be elbows length to the, uh, you know, to your bow handle repair. So there I am. I should make it. This may actually give me some access too to the back of the. Uh, our mast step hole here as well in case I would ever need to get there for a repair which hopefully I never need to I'm gonna use just a piece of old 2x4 I had laying around and shave that down to make sure it fits in there to use as a backer block and then I'll use some 3M sealant in the screw holes um, whenever I'm affixing that in also 3M sealant around um, our install here so that's the summary of what I'll be doing. I'm not using some really high grade stuff as the backer block because I'll have access with my inspection port. So if I were to pull this out, then I'll be able to, uh, you know, get in there and throw another back, another backer block in there pretty easily. Um, I do use the bow handle to get the boat on and off the trailer and then for, you know, pulling it around there at the dock, not necessarily on ground. So I'm not putting too much weight on, on the bow handle usually. Um, as well so I'm not really worried about dropping the boat on hard cement uh, with that so I will uh, skip over first step will be drilling a hole with our um, drill here so we'll move over to that okay so I used a 3 8 drill bit to fit my jigsaw blade right in there as you can see it it's perfectly I'll be able to start that cut and uh, you know cut around that hole perfectly hopefully it's recommended uh, based on discussion boards that I've been reading to use a metal jigsaw blade to cut fiberglass looks like I have it some foam in there um, I guess if there is foam I'll have to dig it out in order to make sure I can access you know the bow handle there all right I'll be right back okay so I just finished cutting the hole and uh, piece of fiberglass is still stuck on there so I'm pretty sure that's stuck to a foam block uh, I'll try to reach in there and uh, you know finagle that out but the fiberglass should all be disconnected because as you see I've, I've made the cut with the jigsaw be right back okay so I just popped it off and uh, as you can see foam everywhere um, it's not wet so that's a good thing uh, so now I'll just chip out enough foam to Get my hand in there to uh, get to where I can put the backer block on. Okay, so that initial brown spongy foam, uh, I'm through that layer and now I'm to a white um, block of foam. Now, uh, I believe that there are foam blocks situated inside of the sunfish hole and um, I can see I'm starting to maybe get to some space down in there, but uh, I want to get where I can move forward obviously I need to get my arm up there okay so you can see I've made the hole bigger um, so this white foam actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the boat there so I'd prefer not to eat into that much into that foam because it's more of a stability piece you know for our our boat here I'm trying to go a little bit more into the side and then hopefully I'll be able to still reach around and get my arm where I need it to go Okay, status update. Cleared out enough foam to be able to get my arm all the way in up to my shoulder, uh, not my shoulder, but my elbow. Um, backer block was clearly very rotted out, so I think I made the right choice to to use this method of repair. Uh, bad news is this 2x4 piece is not going to work unless I trim it down significantly. Um, there's a fiberglass kind of a bracket that's formed where that piece can slide into to fit underneath these hole locations so I'm debating on whether to use a piece of plastic cutting board which I've read is is a good substitute to using some wood 
or you know, trimming down this uh, two by four. I'll be back. All right, let's see if I can show you exactly what we're working with here. Go down to the hole. Okay, update. So, upon filling a little closer to that bracket piece, which was affixed to the bottom of the hole in such fashion. Um, actually, it was loose on this right hand side, so I managed to pry it off um, completely. Um, obviously, I won't hold the piece in, but again, I have the inspection port, so hopefully, I can get in there and make an adjustment if needed. Um, and now it feels smooth enough that I should be able to fit another piece in there. I was able to just pry that other side off. Okay, so uh, now that I've pulled out everything and have assessed the situation, it looks like I need a piece of 1x3 or 1x4 wood, and then I can cut that to length to fit as essentially a perfect backer block there. Um, I'm going to pick up some number 8 screws. I should work like that. I'll either get some machine screws or wood screws. I've read that maybe the wood screws are better, of course, stainless steel. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll be back when I get back from the store. Okay, so the sun is starting to pick up. Just got back from the store. I picked up some number eight, one and a fourth stainless steel screws with the groove down. Um, I used a 532nd bit and had to move it around a little bit, but as you can see, all of our screws will go straight down to the fiberglass now. I didn't want them to screw into the fiberglass because I wanted them to spin freely until they really pull into that backer block. To pull it up to the back of that fiberglass, uh, you know, snugly. I don't want there to be space between there, but those will slide down in there uh, perfectly. For the backer block, I wanted to just pick it, pick it up a 1x4x6 of exterior rated. Um, wood there I think that'll be plenty for what I'm using this for um, in terms of a backer block so I'll cut that off uh, hopefully to size next okay so I've just eyeballed and uh, I believe that this will fit in front of the foam that's currently there and uh, so that'll be the next thing is test fitting you can see here where where each of our screws essentially be going in there to give us Quite a bit more surface area on the back of that fiberglass and not allow those screws to pull out. Okay, so I um, put my backer block in and it fits perfectly. So I put one screw in and tighten that down good. Uh, what I'll do next is take that 4200 sealant and put a nice glob here and here and here after sanding these parts a little bit. Um, make sure those holes are completely filled in, ready to accept the screws and the bow handle. Um, I will put the bow handle on as so. Um, attach that screw first and then I will slide over, remove um, my screw holding a piece of wooden because that screw will now hold it in and then I will complete the install. Okay, so all screws are in. Now time to do a little cleanup. So I have some lint free shop rags here. All right, there we go, pretty well cleaned up. And uh, so I'll let that cure for as long as it need to, needs to, but all four of those screws are in backer blocks. So how are you? Okay, so next up is uh, installing our inspection port. Um, so it fits, obviously our hole was good. I'll start by uh, pulling up this tape. Okay, now that the tape is up, I'm going to scuff edges with a little 80 grit sandpaper I have. Okay, so I just finished doing a little scuffing around this edge here, just to hopefully give that uh, 5200 sealant a little bit more of something to grab a hold of. Um, so obviously this is going to be secured, secured with screws as well. I'm going to do my two um, screws here because I'm a little bit on a, an angle, so 
the screw one and two initially and then three four five six there's no backer block on this because this isn't going to have a lot of up and down force occurring on it the screws are mainly going to be there to stop it from twisting left and right the 5200 some people do it just with the 5200 and don't apply screws but uh i mean the screw holes are there i, I think i'm going to go ahead and do 5200 seal it um and, and the, with the screws as well <clears throat> Okay, so the Sunfish actually has an unevenness to its hole here. So if you tighten these two screws and these two screws, you're going to actually warp the inspection port. And uh, you may be able to screw this in, but it's basically going to lock itself in. It's going to be almost impossible to get off. Um, so what I've done is I've tightened down the two that are on the, you know, essentially the edge of that wobble. These two I've more or less, less loose, let loosened. And then I filled in our edges here with 3200 or 5200. Uh, so 5200 goes all the way around. Theoretically now, I'll try to close and open. It will close, but then it will also open. So do not tighten. Um, and to not tighten your screws too much because you do not want to warp those screws locking that inspection port. So now I'll wait, let this dry, and then we'll be done. All right, thanks for tuning in.